Hey, what is up you guys? I hope you're having an amazing evening. Today we are going to be talking about Upwork stock, ticker symbol UPWK. Now, they recently just reported their Q3 earnings a few hours ago in the after hours trading. And they beat expectations by far and they did extremely, extremely well. Now, before we get into the video, I just want to say if you can give this video an early thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications to be notified every time I post a new video. All right, so Upwork stock, you guys, they did beat expectations, like I said, and you can see right now they are up in the after hours about 21%, which is really a really huge jump. And I am very excited because I actually do own shares in Upwork, so I am very much enjoying this jump. Now we're here on Upwork's page about to go over the third quarter results. And if you don't know who Upwork is or what they are, they are a freelancing platform that brings together clients and freelancers to work together on certain projects that the client may need and for the freelancer to work on and help them out with. It's a really great platform and it's just like Fiverr. All right, jumping into their third quarter results, Upwork's revenue grew 24% year over year to $96.7 million, exceeding guidance. Marketplace revenue grew 26% year over year to $88 million. Marketplace take rate improved from 13.3% to 13.6% year over year. And this is what president and CEO of Upwork said, Hayden Brown, our third quarter performance was fueled by strength from both existing and new clients who adopted Upwork in record numbers. As the world's largest work marketplace that connects businesses with independent talent, as measured by gross service volume, we have been building capabilities and tools for a world now increasingly ready to use them. This quarter, we continue to expand our platform to serve our customers with Project Catalog, a curated collection of pre scope projects that provides a new click and buy way for clients and freelancers to instantly begin working together on the Upwork marketplace. Also, their gross margin increased 2 percentage points year over year to 73%. Their net loss was a lot better than Q3 2019. Their net loss was at 2.7 million or 2 cents per share compared to a net loss of 3.5 million or 3 cents per share for the third quarter of 2019. Non-GAAP net income was $5 million or $0.04 cents per share compared to non-GAAP net income of $1.1 million or $0.01 cent per share in the third quarter of 2019. And also the company's Bring Your Own Talent service grew 37% year over year in Q3. That offering lets customers handle their complete independent workforce program and projects on a single platform. Regardless of whether that talent is sourced via Upwork, involves independent contractors, or is employed via Upwork's employer of record service. Clearly, they are benefiting so much in this coronavirus pandemic. You got people, a lot of more people freelancing even more during these times and remotely working. And it seems that remote work is going to be a permanent thing now after this whole global issue. Not only that, the online talent platforms are seeing a lot of opportunity for the next few years. By 2025, online talent platforms could add $2.7 trillion or nearly 2% to global GDP. It's projected that 10% of the global labor force or 540 million people could benefit in various ways from online talent platforms by 2025. Now, what I want to look at is their financials and see how they are doing currently from prior. So looking at the three months ended from September, their total revenue has jumped pretty well to 96 million compared to September 2019 of 78 million. As for their loss from operations, it has gotten better from September 19, which was at 3 million, almost 4 million. And in September 2020, it reduced to 3 million, $29,000. Also their net loss, you guys, it has dropped almost a million dollars which is very, very good. Now onto Upwork's balance sheet, we can see their total current assets are at 331958000 and their total current liabilities are at $186,073,000, which gives us a nice current ratio of 1.7. Now for Upwork's fourth quarter guidance, they stated the fourth quarter guidance we are providing today factors in the expected impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic that are available to us as of today. Upwork expects to report revenue in the range of $96 million to $98 million. Weighted average shares outstanding in the range of $122 million to $124 million. And for the full year of 2020, Upwork expects to report revenue in the range of $363 million to $365 million. Weighted average shares outstanding in the range of 118 million to 122 million. So in my opinion, I believe Upwork is a great company. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I do hold positions in this stock. Long-term positions to be exact. They work in an industry that is growing and will see so much opportunity these next few years like we went over earlier. 
which is why I think they will still be doing great after this whole global issue vanishes. As of right now, they are doing very well under the circumstances and they are expecting to see that for their next quarter report. Well, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did filming it for you all. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one. And don't forget to hit that bell button to be notified every time I post a new video. Comment down below what you think about Upwork. I would like to know your thoughts. Thank you so much guys for watching. Till next time. Peace.